the reasons Phil is so keen to get in shape is because human nature is about to embark on an all-singing, all-dancing Australian tour. And the music industry is no place for the self-conscious, the unmotivated or the unfit. I actually have noticed a difference in singing and performing with the choreography we're doing at the moment and the, the, you know, the dancing getting ready for the new album to come out, I've really noticed that my energy level has gone up. I won't go so far as to say I wasn't hurting at all after the first dance routine the other day, but I was probably hurting a lot less than I would have been normally. That's why I'm doing overhaul. I'm going to have to do that about 15 times a night on our next tour, so I don't think I could do it without this, so thank you. Morning, Phil. Morning, Fura. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Andrew? Yeah, I always knew that I was the least fit in the group, so I thought that it might be a bit of a chance to see exactly how much progress I've made, so I thought I might get all of us down to the gym and get Lee to set some kind of test to see how I was going. Start level one, one. It's actually good working out together because we're a bit competitive between the four of us. Level one, one more, one more, one more. Come on, push, push, push. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, Phil came to be able to keep up with the boy band image stuff and get his body ripped so the audience would still love him. He's done very well. Today has shown the difference between a smoker and a non-smoker for me. Toby's the smoker left in the group and it's kind of obvious what the cigarettes do, your fitness. <laughs> Sorry, Toby.